choose um, computer science in first place is, um, first of all, it's a uh, subject that if you learn something new today, and uh, the next day you can actually build something like useful in real life, and I really like that. It's a subject that is very logical. So, for example, if I have a confusion about a question, then uh, I know in heart that I will eventually get some answer that is very reasonable. Because personally, I'm someone who are comfortable only with uh, applying technologies that I know the theory behind it. I decided to do computer science because I realized I've been very passionate about philanthropy, technology, and entrepreneurship. The UK being the hub of philanthropy and UCL being an excellent school for research in computer science and having a really fine startup ecosystem, UCL ended up being the best pick for me. What I really like about the course is the freedom that the professors and the faculty here provide. I get to study, obviously, as part of my course, but apart from that, I get to get myself involved in many projects, both academic and non-academic, as long as I'm doing something productive to the ecosystem here, and they're always willing to allow that. For UCL in general, I think you can have uh, academic and uh, social and career-related uh, events in general. But I think apart from all of this, for computer science students, you may have a special event called Hackathon. Uh, so you team up and you uh, build some prototype based on a idea, and then you uh, like compete with other teams. I highly recommend the Computer Science Society. Um, it's a fabulous society for you to get involved in for the community and culture around tech. Uh, this is partnered with the AI Society, the Data Science Society, the Engineering Society, and actually 12 other societies that are not even related to um, tech at all. So you really get to explore any industry that you really want to meet friends from other courses and disciplines and kind of explore your interests. Uh, so societies are always my go-to thing to do after academics um, and other projects that I have going on. But the thing I'm most proud of myself is that I can balance all of the activities I mentioned before, so academic, career, and uh, social. So for academic, of course, you can have uh, have some. I have I had research internship. And for Korea, I have a two industry internship in finance, uh, software development. And for social, I'm also in the computer science society. So I was the treasurer last year. And uh, um, I, we as a committee, we organized some social events for our peers because the initial intention for this society is really during this pandemic time we want to give them more like a inclusion sense. There's a lot of leadership opportunities uh, that I didn't think I would find. For instance, societies are a very big, very big part of culture uh, here at UCL and it's, it's quite nice to see this is something that's uh, very prevalent in the UK that wasn't in the US. I'm working on a startup, it's called GatherAid, and we're connecting students with employees to volunteer together and build skills. And I initially didn't let UCL know that I was working on this because I really didn't think they would care. But every now and then, when we were having this chit chat, I would tell uh, professors, hey, this is what I'm working on. And a lot of them showed quite a lot of interest, although you know there is no benefit to them. They're just very curious about what I'm doing, and they actually offered to help. And I didn't really expect that. I would say that's one of the best parts. I really enjoy the support given to all the students when they come up with something and that they actually want to work on, and they're always supportive of that. The main advice I will give is trying things out. If, uh, don't worry if you don't have a clear idea of what direction you want to go. It's the main point of university, so you need to try as much things as you'd like, and then you will get an idea what area suits you the most, and also what really arises your passion. 
I think pa passion matters a lot in this uh, area. Get your hands dirty. Uh, write code, get yourself involved in sometimes even non-computer science related things. Try out entrepreneurship, try out marketing, try out finance. Um, really see what you could click with because if you really noticed, you probably would have heard the terms like tech for good, or legal tech, um, agri-tech, agriculture plus tech, climate tech. Uh, <laughs> there's anything that could be used with tech and that's the biggest power that computer science um, provides. Uh, there's a quote I've read a long time ago and it's the greatest superpower is the superpower to create. And that's something that computer science can offer because anything you could imagine you could really create uh, and apply that to anything. So the best piece of advice would be, hey, get involved, see what you really enjoy. And if you really like tech, slap some tech on it. And there you go, you got yourself a new paradigm. <laughs>